Good afternoon, Madam President. Thank you so much for the opportunity to honor, along with Senator Laird, as honest and decent a legislator as the legislator as ever was, Gene Mullen, who passed away last week at the age of 84. He represented Northern San Mateo County, the very same seat now held by his son and our colleague and friend, Kevin Mullen. Gene embodied the best about public service and truly believed in the power of government to improve the lives of all Californians. Assemblymember Mullen was born in 1937, a third generation Californian. He was a high school history and civics teacher in South San Francisco, while simultaneously being a devoted and loving father and husband, all the while serving on the South San Francisco City Council. During this time, he inspired so many South San Francisco high schoolers into public service. Many elected employees and public employees that I run into today thank Gene Mullen for opening the door to them, including the current Vice Mayor, Mark Nogales of South San Francisco, who told me, quote, Gene is the reason why I'm in public service. He was elected to the State Assembly in 2002 for three terms, leaving in 2008. During that time, he took great pride in chairing the Assembly Education Committee and the Assembly Housing Committee. He embraced retirement actively after leaving the legislature in 2008, spending time with his five grandsons, serving on nonprofit boards, fishing, providing counsel to those starting their political careers, and following his beloved San Francisco Giants. Gene left a tremendous legacy. We send so much love to, to Kevin and the Mullen family during this difficult time. We are a better community for having had Gene in it. Senator Laird. Thank you very much, Madam President. <clears throat> I also rise to adjourn in memory of Gene Mullen. I served the same six years in the State Assembly as Gene did in the same class. Uh, he was known, as was noted in his San Francisco Chronicle Memorial, as the Cal Ripken of the State Assembly because he never missed a single vote on the floor or the committee during his six years. In what was usually a very rambunctious house, uh, he was the adult. You could tell that he had been a coach and a high school teacher for over three decades by the way he navigated uh, that system. He had a very dry sense of humor. We were once both called to the speaker's office as first termers, and I remember he said to me, this is like being called to the dean of boys' office. When we went, it turned out that uh, the other side was going to present a budget proposal, and he wanted the two of us to go in and listen and then go outside and respond on behalf of the House. We did that, and I thought I gave a great articulate uh, uh, analysis of the budget, and then Gene calmly just looked at the scrum of reporters and said, it's a good thing so many prisoners are being let out early because they'll all be out on the sidewalks with the kindergartners. And it was one of those moments where you couldn't help yourself, you just laughed out loud. I did an adjourn in memory for a local teacher who was a longtime city council member, and he walked over and said, oh, I knew Ruth, and just went through a friendship. He was just clearly somebody that, that knew his colleagues and was beloved. And then there was this time when we each had difficult situations in our own district. I had a horrible bill that flew out of the state senate, something that doesn't happen anymore, uh, I know, that would have removed all the local elected officials on one board and replaced them with a whole new group of people. Gene reversed himself, was the swing vote in killing that bill, and then, lo and behold, he had a city in his district that had a $100 million judgment against it on a land use measure, and it was a city that was very small. And he had a bill that would have fixed it that the environmentalists just hated. I didn't like the bill, but I went to him and I said, Gene, if you get to 40 votes, it's like, you gotta come to me. Uh, uh, I will help you. And he said, oh, I really don't wanna make you do that. And, and he just, he considered everybody in a good way. Uh, he really was a family man too. Loved his family, is as proud of his son Kevin over in the assembly as anybody could be. In fact, one of 
uh, uh, Kevin's twins has Gene as his middle name. And my heart just goes out to them, to his family, to his friends. He was a gentleman in the, in the best sense of the word, and he's one of the most honorable people that I ever served with. So I, too, join in a journey in memory of Gene Mullen.